Also, that's something that annoys me. It appears to knock me out of a chaos form. Wait a minute, I came in one way. Which way was it? I don't think it was this way. Oh, I thought that was a health chest then. Would have been very welcome. Do I have it? No, nope, don't have it. anything. No essences. Uh, do I have anything like a possession? Nope, just four empty consumable pots. Might as well put affliction on. For when my Raffaventi gets back up there. Okay, a lot of little spiders. So it looks like it's only a stuff fest here. I'm also destroying the scenery because it gives me some uh, nice little bonuses. Do the spider stump. Do, 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 do the spider stump. Might not be giving me a lot, but it's certainly helping out. I know it's said that Death's got the more acrobatic fighting style, but War's got some moves, hasn't he? Stumps. We might even have a full score of life. I mean, they're like what? Some sort of hedgehoggy spider sort of looking deal. Yeah, a ridiculously horrifying design. Even with the cartoony style. But is that just that look of like, what? Someone's about to try and stamp on me. I've not had someone try and do this in centuries. Maybe that's how we beat Silitha, just a giant magic boot. Or some sort of statue with rolled up newspaper. Not sure what the big blue spiders on the map are. I'm assuming they're what? Some sort of warning spider room? Well, that looks like a list of things to kill if ever you see one. Yes! Knew there'd be one round here somewhere. They are becoming a bit few and far between, so God knows what the apocalyptic level's going to be like. Luckily, that means I don't need to worry so much about health anymore. Honestly, the construction work around here is absolutely appalling. Bloody beholders. Ooh. You know in an ambush, you're supposed to attack the person you were trying to ambush, right? I don't think these spiders get basic tactics. Case in point. I mean, I'm imagining this level must be an arachnophobic's worst nightmare. Okay, another health chest there, so I'm assuming it's about to be a very big fight. Oh, hello. Are you the thing that's going to help me with everything that's glowing in the air around here? Okay, I was about to say, a bit of overkill, but it looks like the big grows turned up for it. The Abyssal Chain, okay, that's good. Ah, okay, this is how you get them. 
Okay, that's a lot of attacks on these guys. Nope, can we not? The little spider stabby bullshit. I must admit, I think you were prettier looking with the shell on. Good lord, you're not hitting for a lot, but you're hitting quite a lot of turns. And I don't think you can block that. You know what? Oh, you leap as well. Let's set you on fire, see how that does your temperament. Ooh. Bloody filleted it. Okay, so I have to remember where those four ones are, how and kill them, great. Oh, now you give me the wrath call. Thank you so much. I must admit, I've done better than I have most times against things that it's like, oh, we've given you a new toy, try and play with it. Okay, so it's pull towards red, swing from blue. Right, so okay. Easily enough to remember. Lucky that was as low as it was. Yeah, definitely didn't get that right. Any way for me to get further up? No. Right. This is where I just get defeated by a wall. Oh, there we go. Finally decided to make me jump that, did you? Game gets stupid sometimes. Okie dokie, so... Not quite sure what's needed in here. Right, chronosphere. I'm going to assume... This is one I have to actually physically touch. Okay. Let's see if we can Spider-Man this. Don't give you much room forever there, do they? So I hold the key. Don't need this, but I'm still going to smack it, just to be safe. Can't I get through there? Because I wasn't at the right angle, obviously. Okay, there we go. I must admit, this is rather useful. Does he get me bonus souls like it is? It's not so useful as when you have to then drop down and do it all over again. Okay, I'm remember to edit this part out. Well, I must admit, Abyssal Chain sounds like a great name for a metal band. Okay, no, so hold on to that till you actually get to where you need to go. I 
I wonder if there will be more enemies that require you to abyssal chain them. Oh good, this one just comes straight to me. Okay, I like that, it seems to have a separate fighting style depending on whether it's still got its shell or not. That's not what I wanted. Uh, let's release some affliction. Oh great, it's immune to affliction. Right, one spider fillet coming up. Completely boneless, of course. Two down, looks like three to go. Don't even want to think what was in that. Okay, three more spiders to squash. Where would I be if I was a spider? Probably in a web. Issue is the whole level's web. I am enjoying the fact that I've unlocked all these weird attacks. I really am. Double check there's nothing around here. I may have never played an adventure game, but now I'm certainly looking for secrets. Case in point. Ooh! I think that is the last champion artifact. I ain't saying I think, because I'm not sure it is 100% the same champion artifact. Bad of me that I kind of want to see Dan from Nerd Cube try this level because he does do challenges now and again, and I know, yeah, he is afraid of spiders, but I just think it'd be hilarious. Just, just a, just a challenge for him. Just defeat Silla for. I think he actually gave that Dark Side is quite a nice score when he, well, not a score. He doesn't do scores, does he? But when he initially played it, I think he gave it a very nice review. And you get the boot. Oh, there's enough boot for everybody, don't worry. I can actually imagine him doing that, just going through the level and just stomping every single spider he finds. I mean, he already thinks of demons. I'm having a bit of a rambling day today, aren't I? I must admit, the whole giant spider level, that's actually pretty well done. It's fact you can still see, like, bits of the architecture. It's sort of like a garden shed that went a bit too, too long out of clear out. Right, looks like there's another spider here. Maybe you're wondering what I'm attempting to do. Basically, I am attempting to get the bonus souls out of these weird egg cap. Weird mushroom things. Okay, looks like he's coming down to play. Well, if you don't want to come down to play, might as well make him come down to play. Yeah, that stone skin also pretty much neuters quite a lot of his attacks. There we go, I was looking for immolation.
Come on, Mr. Spider. Gotta serve you up like sushi, nothing to worry about. That immolation really does burn through the wrath quite quickly. Okay, so I can block that attack. Let's see if I can counter. Nope, can't counter the overhead. Won't we live and learn? Looks like the little ones want to come play though, so this will be fun. Come on. Oh, that was easily dealt with. Who knew that a scythe was a really good method for getting rid of spiders? More mushrooms full of souls? I mean, I've heard of soul food, but that's ridiculous. Right, contender number two. <sighs> it's never just a simple case of pulling down a giant demonic spider and killing it with an eight foot sword, is it? Who am I kidding? It's always a simple case. Ah. Okay, a bit of a closer confined area here, is it? Still not gonna save you, mate. I'm not even going to attempt to block that. I mean, they're not the uh, home run run swing might not knock it back, but it does actually set the little bastard on fire. So, a bit of extra bonus damage. And he's done. I get some bonus health for it. Meaning I'm guessing whatever's behind door number five is a bit of a big bastard. Like this is looking. I don't know why you're hiding, I know you're a boss. Look at that ice effect, you're definitely a boss. If you weren't, I was about to hit you with a tremor gauntlet anyway. Okay, that's a big fella. And it's hungry too. Great. Not quite sure what I'm supposed to do here. Feed it? Is that what I'm supposed to be doing? Uh, that looks like it's... Yep, it's getting ready to charge. And of course, I can't do anything to that permanent ice level stuff. With bosses, I always assume you can hit them in the arse. Okay, and it's got one I've got to jump dodge. Of course it does. Are you training me for Silifer? I imagine you would be. That's how you lot sort of work. Here, have another snack whilst I quickly murder you from behind. Yeah, how big does something... That, that's a question for Matt Pat. How big does something have to be that like, just jumping near you is enough to actually cause damage to you? Yeah, this boss is pretty easy now. I've got the um, basics down for it. I'm assuming it's a him. I don't know. I don't know how to sex spiders. Let alone demonic from the depths of hell spiders. But that is certainly a question I'm 
you know what, once I finish this episode, I might pose it to MatPat on Twitter so you'll have an idea how long this episode is if you ever find that tweet. Ooh! Looks like we're doing a bit of invasive surgery here. Yeah, well, I think you got him. And that's the final seal done. So the next step is Silifer, isn't it? Over here! I wonder, can I...? Horseman! Nope, didn't even fl flinch at that, did you, Witcher? Watcher, even, not Witcher. That's a completely separate game. <laughs> 